In tonight's Hollywood Wrap, the passing of two well-known television stars. But first, more drama with the Jackson family. Now Katherine Jackson's attorney is speaking out. Here's George Pinocchio with more on a famous family divided. This is a bit of a mystery, I think. Katherine Jackson hasn't been seen in days, and tonight her attorney wants answers. This is a messy case involving Catherine's eight children, the late Michael Jackson's three children, the two executors of his estate, and one burning question. With so much press, why haven't we heard from the 82-year-old leader of the Jackson family? We just can't imagine what she's feeling right now, you know, and what she's going through. Attorney Sandra Rivera is talking to ABC Never. News about her client, Katherine Jackson, and the drama unfolding within the ranks of the Jackson family. The conflict appears to involve several of Katherine Jackson's children. In a letter leaked last week, they claim John Bronca and John McClain, the executors of Michael Jackson's estate, are manipulating their mother. They want the two to resign. The question's going to be, who's in control? Is it the executors of the money? Is it Catherine, the grandmother, or is it the siblings? Who's actually in control? Nobody seems to know. This private family matter became much more public when attorney Rivera says there was an ambush at Catherine's Calabasas compound. Video shows Randy Janet and Jermaine Jackson on the property, apparently uninvited, and in part to see Michael's children. But security immediately hauled the kids away. They took it in stride, but they were very shaken up. And at the end of the day, all they really said is, you know, we just want our grandma back home. On Al Sharpton's show on MSNBC, Randy Jackson claimed family members went to the house to let Michael's kids know they can visit or talk with their grandmother at any time. Her health was ailing, uh, and it was doctor's orders that she get immediate rest, uh, kind of isolate isolate herself from the outside world and rests. But Catherine's attorney paints a very yeah, different picture. They and they don't understand why they're being prevented from talking to her and why she's being prevented from calling them. It's, it's been nine days. Randy Jackson says his mom is resting and staying with his sister, Rebe. Rivera says Catherine is mentally as sharp as a tack, but may be unaware of this entire situation. She doesn't have access to her cell phone. She doesn't have access to the internet. Um, who knows if she has access to television? Why doesn't Catherine just call the kids? Why can't she? She's being prevented from doing it. By who? By the people that she's staying with. 